Hey kiddos, it is the last day of our quick, quick, quick review lessons over the big concepts that we find in layer three of our phonics first guide. The next couple of weeks, we'll still be doing some review before we jump into a brand new layer. Um, but for this week, I just wanted to hit those big ones that you see all the time and go over their rules. So just like we've been doing, I am going to show you some cards. You are going to at home on your own, um, say out loud what you think the card says, and then we're going to go over them together. Okay. So what does this say? Try this one. Okay. Very, very, very good. Okay. So. Okay, just wanted to channel something. Let's go over them and see what you guys think. Okay, what we're talking about today are vowel teams. The trick I love to use is when two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking, and it's going to say its name. So don't mind the bread here. We're going to go over that later in the year. Okay, but the key word that you have in the top corner of this card is a peach. What does that tell you EA is going to say? E, it says E. When two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. E is my first one. So all I'm going to hear is it say it's long sound. I want you to kind of think about it like a magic E, okay? The other vowel, that is the second vowel, it has powers. And it makes the vowel in front of it have enough strength to say its name. But it takes everything this little vowel has, so this vowel becomes silent, okay? So think about it that way. When I see two vowels together, only the first one is going to make a sound, and it's usually going to be its name. Now, there are some instances where that's not true, but nine times out of ten, two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking, and it says its name, that's usually the key. So E-A says E. A-I says A. Think about your bray a a n. E, 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 like tree, O, A, O, as in boat, A, Y, we kind of talked about that one yesterday in our review video, it says A, so this um, keyword here is gray or day, okay, and then our last one here, O, E, says O, as in toe, so do you notice, kiddos, that in every one I showed you, when the two vowels go a walking, the first one is doing all of the talking, and the first one is saying its name, and the second one is silent, okay? The second one is silent. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, some dictation. I'm going to call some out. We're going to pound and tap, and then you'll get to do a spelling activity with our spelling words today. Okay, kiddos. So the first word that I would like for us to do is clay. Clay, as in like clay that you're going to like sculpt with, okay? Clay. Pound it. Clay. Tap it. Cool. A. I only used two fingers. Cool. A. Okay? So I'll write down. Oop, that's my eraser. Now, I could leave it like that because I know that says A. But we know today we're working on vowel teams. And also, that just doesn't look right, right? That doesn't look like a real word. And I know that if I put a Y on the end of that, it's going to make it still say A. So this says clay, okay? Very, very good. Okay, so let's do another one, okay? Here we go. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Pound it. Oat. Meal. First syllable, oat. Tap it, oat. Okay, so I heard o and then I heard t. But we know from our lessons, if I left it like this, this would say ought because my vowel is squished in, there's a consonant after it, so it's going to make it short sound. So I have to make this o say its name. I know two ways to do that a magic e on the end or an oa. Which one looks the most correct? OA, right? O, oh, okay. So we're doing oat, meal, meal, pound it, meal, tap it, m, mm, e, o. Ooh, m, mm, oop, m, mm, e, o. 
Okay, well, I know I had to have another vowel to make this say its name, so we can try that. No, that doesn't look right, right? We can, oh, I keep trying to write with the eraser. We can do this, or we can do this. Which one looks the most correct? The last one. The last, or yes, no, we're erasing the last one. M-E-A-L is the way we spell meal. Very good. Let's do another one. Leapfrog. Leapfrog. Let's pound it. Leapfrog. First syllable, leap. Tap it. O-E-P. O-E-P. Okay, same problem. I can put a magic E in, I can do L-E-E-P, or I can do L-E-A-P. Which one, can I move this bar? Yes, good. Which one makes the most sense? Which one do you see all the time? Yep, L-E-A-P, L-E-A-P. Second syllable is frog, pound it, frog, tap it, fr-a-g. Good job, kiddos. Y'all are rock stars. Okay, let's do toad. Toad. Pound it. Toad. Tap it. O d. Okay. Which one looks the most correct? T o a d. T o a d. Very, very good. Okay. Oh. Let's try another one. Screen. Like I've been staring at a screen all day. Screen. Found it. Screen. Tap it. Skr e n. Skr e n. Okay. Very good. Y'all are rock stars. Let's do sail, as in I'm going to sail the boat. Ready? Sail. Tap it, a o. Now, I know lots of ways to make an A say its name. I can do magic E, do the A-I. Which one makes the most sense here? The last one. Good, 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 good. Okay, kiddos, so just like um, what we've been doing, you are going to take some of our Val teams today, and you are going to do one of those spelling activities on paper, okay? So you're looking for Val team words on your Google Classroom, and you are just going through doing a spelling activity with one of these words, or with all of these words, okay, kiddos? Um, I cannot wait to see the cool activities you do. Try to do something that you haven't done yet. There's nine different activities on there, um, so there's plenty to choose from, okay? So pick something different, um, and I hope that you guys have a great day.